is part of fear. What's up, everybody? This is your boy, Paul, the fifth. I hope this finds you healthy and well. Thanks for watching. I am starting a new YouTube series called Production Tips with Paul the Fifth. And the reason I'm doing this is because the last eight months of this year, most of us have probably spent time in isolation or quarantine. What did we do with our time? How did we learn? I'm sure most of us probably went to some online platform for learning and entertainment. Every night after my insurance shift ended at 10 p.m., I would work on my own music, doing some recording, mixing, mastering, and sweetening things up. When I didn't know what to do or had a question, I would turn to YouTube for answers. I want to share my knowledge with you from my educational experiences, real life sessions, mistakes, and best known practices to put music production to the test. My journey began in 2008 when I attended the recording workshop in Chillicothe, Ohio, and there is where I learned the basics of audio recording and mixing and mastering. Fast forward a few years to 2015, I moved here to Nashville, Tennessee, where I attended SAE Institute and I graduated top of my class in 2017. One of my instructors there, his name was Sir Alan Shacklock, and he turned me into a Pro Tools wizard. I used Pro Tools mainly from 2016 until 2018. Then I moved over to Apple's Logic Pro because I found that it fit my workflow a little bit better. My goal for this series is to show these concepts and teach them in five easy steps. And that includes talking about the concepts, showing them, putting them to use, recapping, and then number five is quite interesting. I want to challenge you to put these concepts to use in your mixes and in your productions throughout the week. And after doing so, please comment and let me know if it worked for you in your production flow. If not, that's okay. Did you find something that worked better? Let me know how you do things. I'll be showing these music production techniques in two DAWs, and that stands for Digital Audio Workstation. I'll be showing these concepts in Pro Tools, which is the industry standard, and I'll be showing them in Apple's Pro Logic X. I have no idea where you are at in your musical production journey. You could be a novice. Maybe you're wanting to learn. Maybe you've been doing this for 20 years, and that's okay. When I was a kid, there is a drummer, he's still around, his name is Dave Weckl, and he inspired me to play drums. And he had a series on VHS tapes that I would watch, and it was called Back to Basics. If you don't know where to begin, don't know where to start, we'll lay a foundation, and each episode will build on the previous one. Every day after school, I would go visit my grandpa, and he would ask me, son, what did you learn today? I would like to incorporate that thought process into this series. Please join me on this musical journey. I want to be your instructor. I want to be your mentor. I want to be your confidant, the person that you come to when you have questions about your musical production process. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I promise to make this series fun and exciting, and we will do music production together.